Hello, everybody. Well, it's nice to uh, to see everybody. So uh, my name is uh, Laura Renikowski, and I'm an international astrological life and relationship coach. I coach in English, Spanish, Finnish, and Italian. Um, I'm not an astrologer, but I know a lot about astrology, and that's why I, I give these talks um, here in Internations. So, uh, so today I'm going to talk about the full moon in Leo, which is um, which is today. And it's uh, it's a very very powerful um, fiery uh, fiery full moon. So um, so February February's full moon takes place in the royal palace of Leo on the sixteenth of, um, of February. So surrounded by shimmering gold and clear desires, the moon in Leo calls for us to act with confidence in ourselves. If you think if you think about um, what a lion is like, right? Like a lion is really confident. A lion never second guesses anything. A lion sees something that it wants and it goes for it, right? So that's that's the kind of energy that this um that this full moon has has in it. It's very fiery, you know, forward thinking, go after your dreams, um, kind of um, kind of energy. So with the sun in Aquarius and the full moon in Leo. Your purpose is to take pride in the people you surround yourself with, as well as yourself. You know, lions. You know, lions have a lot of pride, right? Lions have a lot of pride and a lot of confidence. So, so it's a moment to um, to tap into that as well. So, a group of lions is called a pride. So, the moon in Leo reminds you that regardless of your personal feelings, your people are worth fighting for. Humility is also key to this transit. If you know your value, there's no need to prove yourself to others. So under this full moon, focus your energy on developing your friendships and your community um, as well. <clears throat> so this full moon in Leo is here to shake things up. <laughs> so it's also called the full snow moon. And this lunar event is all about listening to your heart, like the song when it's, when it's calling for you. And just doing you. You know, it's also about being true uh, to yourself as well. Um, a full moon, as we know, is a moon dedicated to reflection as well. So a full moon in Leo reflects the light of the Aquarius of the Aquarius sun, two luminaries negotiating the sky as it darkens and drapes over us. The moon in Leo is proud, emotional, and creative. So if you feel proud, emotional, and creative, it's because of this um, because of this uh, full moon in uh, in Leo. So she gets hurt as easily as she falls in love. A Leo, a Leo moon feels more secure when she's in control of her intimate environment and she secretly likes to give up the reins. But a full moon in Leo answers to the sun and the sun is in Aquarius, which is ruled uh, but Saturn co-present under uh, those same stars. To understand the Leo moon's predicament, we have to understand Aquarius and we have to understand uh, Saturn as well. Saturn teaches us accountability. It challenges us to accept what no longer works, to eat our mistakes, and to build back stronger. In Aquarius, Saturn is, is at home but not idle. These fixed stars have a critical influence, but Aquarius is also invested in a constructive approach. Saturn in Aquarius asks, how do you commit yourself to building something steadily over time without compromising who you are and what you believe? How do you use what is known to you to help shape an unknowable future. Some of these answers lie in the conjunction of two other planets under a sign ruled by Saturn. On February 16th, the same day that the full moon perfects in Leo, Mars meets Venus in Capricorn and they begin the long journey of figuring out how do you marry your will to your values, your drive to your desires, your courage to your attraction. In Capricorn, both Venus and Mars are in it for the long haul. So Mars and Venus are, are coming together now and traveling together for a month, which is very unusual. So um, and it's very symbolic and, and it's very powerful because this this means that relationships are really you know are really going to be um, magnified. You know, in in the time you know that Mars and Venus um, journey together in Capricorn. And because and because they're they're in Capricorn together, because they're in Capricorn together, 
know, Capricorn is a is a very um, down to you know down to earth sign. So, so it's about um, it's about making long term plans together, right? And and figuring out you know what's what's really going to happen in a in a relationship and different relationships in um, in your life. So Mars is Mars is exalted and Venus is ardent in her own way. They know what they want and aim to get it, no matter how long and difficult the road. And while it's true that dedication and discipline play a big part in their long game, trust is the thing that carries them past the, the finish line. Trust that they are the arbiters of their own ambitions and haven't fallen under an ingenuine influence. Trust that a Capricorn knows something good when they spot it. This kind of trust in the self and in the other is not earned easily. It arrives on the other side of personal reckoning. It requires you to have enough faith to bet on yourself and enough self-reflection to know when all bets are off. Perhaps this is where the sextile from Jupiter to Uranus comes in, a faith in the process, even if that process requires coming apart, which it almost always um, does. So all of this means that, you know, relationships are really going to be, you know, under the microscope right now. They're really going to be tested in, in many, um, in many different ways. And add to that a full, a fiery full moon in Leo, you know, that, um, that's a, that's a very, uh, fiery, um, fiery, um, recipe really. Um, yeah, there's many, many elements that are, that are coming together now around, uh, relationships. On a collective level, this can look like a dissolution of borders, a national struggle, a, a national struggle, a, diso a disassociation from systems that support authorities that no longer serve the people who give them power. It can look like an international health crisis that is transforming the way we think about freedom and about love in the most humanitarian sense. It's worth noting that Mercury in Aquarius still forms a conjunction to Pluto, having just touched it on the 11th. This conjunction can often be a revelatory one, a time when vital information is unearthed, a time for the truth, no matter how difficult that truth is. Under the full moon in Leo, in Mercury's wake, Mars and Venus move toward Pluto at their own pace, and pride is a part of the story. It's one thing to receive information and another thing to accept it. It's one thing to recognize the mechanisms within you that were born of fear that once kept you safe and now hold you back. It's another thing to admit that you could do better by yourself or by those you love. It's a beautiful thing to want more for yourself, to devote your days toward the very ordinary and incredible work of learning to live differently. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about how this full moon in Leo um, is going to affect the different, uh, the different signs. And remember to, you know, remember to take notes about your, your signs because I'm not going to remember everything um, about all the different signs. So for Aries, you might have a lot of creative ideas, but before you put them into action, take a seat and listen to what those around you have to offer. Try not to take their opinions uh, too personally. They might have constructive suggestions that can help you navigate to the next level. For Taurus. There's a part of you that misses your home, family, and especially your bed. In many ways, you're burning the wick at both ends. Try to be kind to yourself. The full moon is calling for you to turn your attention towards your career. Pace yourself and you'll make it through. Gemini. Slow your roll, Gemini. You might feel called to speak up, but be warned. The moon in Leo is making you feel especially uh, prideful. Try to settle your feelings and take a deeper dive into understanding them before you share your opinion. Setting aside time to read and deepen your understanding will make a world of a difference. Cancer. You've been a magnet for success, which has provided you with a sense of security and confidence. You know that you're able to keep your head afloat when the tide comes in. Now dedicate time to making sure your closest friends are fine. You're fine too. Your team is leveling up. Leo, if you can put your pride aside and drop your guard, you'll let people in. There are a lot of difficulties going on in your life and you might feel the desire to act as if you're perfectly fine. You do not live on an island alone. Reach out for support when you need it. 
course, it's a full moon in Leo and, you know, Leos can be very strong, but of course, you know, Leos can go through difficult moments um, as well. So, so if you are going through a difficult moment, it's okay to, you know, reach for help or um, support. Virgo, your creative projects are making you much more aware of the unfair pedestal you've placed yourself on. Put others aside. This full moon is reminding you to take time and unwind. You don't need to be perfect. Let yourself chill out. Libra. If you let love in, know that you will be met with freedom. You're a compassionate spirit holding space for those in need. You deserve to be embraced and treated with kindness too. Under this full moon, make room for someone who deserves to be in your house of romance. Scorpio. Take a break from matters regarding your career and turn your attention to your home and family. You tend to throw yourself into your work, but this full moon is giving you the permission to relax. Labor will always call for you, but family won't. Make sure you section out time to spend time with them. An inventive approach to old activities can help build your bond. Sagittarius. You've held your tongue for the past few years, learning firsthand that you're not an all-knowing being. Growth has come from listening, and now this full moon is providing you with the ability to share what you know. Have confidence, Sagittarius. The stars appreciate when you prove yourself to be a wise being. Capricorn. Through perseverance and dedication, you have the opportunity to shine. This full moon is giving you a slice of pride and a glass of humility. You may have had to be sparing with your financial spends recently. If you've done so, then now you're beginning to see payoffs. Aquarius, this full moon is a great time for you to take space for yourself. After sharing yourself with others, allow for those around you to, sh to share themselves with you too. Your metaphorical glass needs to be replenished. Whether that means alone time or catching up with a close friend, make sure you're doing what you need. Pisces, <clears throat> of course you're being called to take space during this full moon. That's an easy task for someone with prominent Pisces energy. You have some concerns regarding work. In order to figure out how to handle them, take time for reflection and pay close attention to your dreams. You know how, how you feel, but you may need help putting your feelings into words. So thank you. May this full moon and Leo give you much confidence and pride. Um, I offer coaching sessions in English, Spanish, Finnish, and Italian. You can get in touch with me for a session at lauracoaching at gmail.com. My website is lauraranenkoski.com. And my Wake Up to Your Two Potential YouTube series, um, the link is there. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, and share with friends. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. So, um, so I'll stop sharing and I'll stop the recording. <laughs>